Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to check the two new Popo motors from Racestar. In this video I'm going to quickly go over those specifications, then I'm going to show you how the Popo mechanism works, and finally I'm going to test both motors on my Moto Thrust end. You can get these motors in two sizes and four KV options. The 2205 version offers 2300 and 2600 KV options, and the 2306 version offers 2400 and 2700 KV options. The cost of the 2205 version is $11 and a half, and the cost of the 2306 version is $12 and a half. So one set of these motors is going to cost you less than $50, actually closer to $40. So as expected from Racerstar, these are budget-friendly motors. Both motors in both KV options are compatible with LiPo batteries between 3 to 4 cells, and they are using the same 20 AWG 12cm long silicon wires. The weight of the 2205 version is about 28.7 grams, and the 2306 version is slightly heavier and weighs 4 more grams. Now in case you are not familiar with POPO, it stands for Prop On, Prop Off, and it's a quick swap system that was invented by Lumineer. I know that it has been licensed by other companies like T-Motor, and I'm not sure if Racerstar licensed it or simply copied it. The difference between a Papa motor and a normal one is the motor shaft that they are using. The regular motor that you probably know and use is using a screw thread and a motor nut in order to lock the propeller in its position. The Papa motors are using a special mechanism that will require you to get compatible propellers such as the Dalprop Cyclone T5047C, which I'm going to use in this video. So how does it work? On the center of the motor shaft you can find a spring that when you press it, these three metal balls are going to get inside the motor shaft, and then on the center of the propeller you can find three sockets, these metal balls are going to get inside them and lock the propeller in its position. In order to put the propeller on, simply hold the motor, then twist the propeller until you're going to hear the click and also make sure that the spring in the center is in this position, otherwise the propeller might not be secured. In order to release the propeller, you will need to press the central spring and then it will be unlocked. Now let's see how long it's going to take me to put four Popo propellers on and then to remove them. So as you could see, the whole process was pretty easy and very fast. Now I'm going to test the 2205 and 2306 motors on my Moto Thrust end using 3 and 4S type of batteries, and I will see you in a bit in order to go over the results. So as you can see, the results are not outstanding and these are not very powerful motors. However, they are not marketed as ones and you have to remember these motors cost about $10 a unit and I think for a beginner who's looking for more flight time than speed, these motors are going to be more than fine. I'm going to leave a link down below to these results, so if you'd like, you can check it out. Now I want to show you something that happened to me during the test of these motors. So that was pretty dangerous and it's good that I always leave the room when I'm bench testing motors because things can go wrong like they just did and that was actually my fault and not the fault of the motors because I didn't properly secure the propeller. That was the first time that I put the propeller and I thought that everything was fine but it wasn't and this can happen to you as well. So my advice is to put the propeller on, take them off, practice a little bit and then after you make sure that the propeller is well secured, you can take off and otherwise the propeller can get loose in the middle of the flight and take a hike and you will crash and in the worst case it can happen when you take off and then the propeller can crash into you which can be extremely dangerous. Another thing that you should note is that you should always use the silicone washer otherwise the propeller is not going to be properly secured. Overall priced at almost $10 per motor, I think that these motors will give you an excellent value for your money, but of course I still need to test them outdoors, and it will happen once the weather will get better. 
Finally, before wrapping up this video, I would like to address the licensing issue because normally I don't like to review clones on my channel, but I am going to give Racerstar the benefit of doubt because I'm not 100% sure that they did license it and not 100% sure that they didn't. I do think that bringing the prices down is going to help the Papa technology because the Lumineer motors are priced at around $25 and it can be a little bit expensive for a beginner who's like to enter the hobby and I do think that this is a pretty awesome technology and also it's going to help selling more propellers and I do think that they get some revenue from the propellers as well because they're using the proper technology so overall I really hope that Razor Star did license it and personally I wouldn't mind to pay a couple of extra dollars per motor for the licensing fee because you have to support the innovation I would like to hear your opinion in the comment section down below of these motors and also about the licensing issue. As always, if you have any questions about these motors, feel free to ask it down below. Don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notification bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.